sleeveless shirt on November 11th. Yes, it's still hot where I live. No fall for us this year. Hey guys, it's Tina. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create the perfect eyeliner shape for downturned or droopy eyes. I have a lot of makeup tutorials for downturned or droopy eyes as I have them, especially one that shows you the ultimate cat eye, um, how to lift up your eye and make it look a little bit more cat eye and just lift it up on the outer corners but that one involves a lot of makeup it's almost like a really dark smoky eye so not really dark but you know it involves some makeup so I figured I will show you what if you don't want to add like apply a lot of makeup what if you're not going out at night but you want to do something that's very subtle for every day for school for work like just an eyeliner, you know, eyeliner, mascara, but still make your eyes look a little more lifted up if you have downturned eyes, but in a really subtle way without applying a lot of makeup. So today's video is for those of you guys who want that. It might look long or complicated, but trust me, it's only because I take my time to really explain and show you how I create it. But as I always say, practice makes perfect. So the more you will practice, the more your hand is going to get used to it, and then you're going to get it in no time. You got this. Nowadays, for me, it takes less than a minute to do my eyeliner, but it wasn't always like this. So the more you practice, the more you will get it and it will be easier for you. So if you want to see how I created this and how to lift your eye with a simple eyeliner, then just keep on watching. So I haven't applied any mascara on purpose so it won't interrupt so we can really see what we're doing. So this is the eyeliner and this eyes without eyeliner. Now there are going to be those of you who are going to say you don't even have downturned eyes, you don't even have droopy eyes. but wrong I do there are ton of different eye shapes there are ton of different types of droopy eyes and of downturned eyes some people have it more noticeable as I always say in my previous videos where I do um, makeup tutorials for downturned eyes a lot of people have it more noticeable some people have it less noticeable but still it's that's how it's called it's a droopy eye, there's nothing to do about it. My dad is actually a painter and um, he has a lot of pictures of me that he painted me, like paintings of me when I was a child, when I was small and with all of them he exaggerates my eyes and it's always going like this, this he just draws this kind of eye because you know he's a painter so he can really see the details so he can really notice that my eyes are droopy and the other day I was looking at the mirror, I was just going um, across my room and then I just stared at myself in the mirror and I didn't have any makeup on and for some reason it was really like noticeable that my eyes are droopy I was like whoa <laughs> they are droopy so all of those of you who say they don't um, thank you because you know if you think I have like an almond shaped eye thank you for thinking that but no my eyes droopy so you can actually see if you follow this line so it goes up right here then it meets a point right in the center and then it goes down. So if my eye shape was like almond or like a regular shape eye, it would go from here across like in a straight line. But if you draw a straight line right here, you can see it really goes down. So you can also see that my lid right here and you can see my lid right here, but you can't see it in the center. And my eye is not like really hooded, just a little bit, maybe slightly, but still, if it's slightly hooded, it just covers only the center, not this part, because this part goes down. So what we're going to do today is to um, create an eyeliner shape that is going to lift the eye and actually create this almond shaped eye. So today I'm going to be using a gel liner, but you can also use a liquid or a pen liner or a pencil liner. I just find it most easy to use a brush with a gel liner because then it allows me to be more precise and to um, have more, more control on the eyeliner, but that's just me, that's what I find the easiest, but you can use whatever you want. So today I'm going to use the Ofra Cosmetics Fila, um, Fix Line Eyeliner Gel, which looks like this, in black. And I'm using the Mikaela Makeup Brushes in number 41, which is a really, really, really thin eyeliner brush. But you can also use like um, an angled brush if you find it easier. Again, do whatever you want, but um, just follow the steps that I'm going to be showing you today. So first, I'm going to pick up a little bit of the eyeliner. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is look straight to the mirror and eye where I want my eyeliner to go. Now you want to draw an invisible line 
that continues your eyebrow. So the outer point of your eyebrow just continue the line like this, so draw an invisible imaginary line. Then continue your bottom lash line upwards as it goes like this. So just continue the line and right, um, just point the line towards the invisible line, the imaginary line that we draw that continues your eyebrow, if that makes sense. So if your eyebrow line goes like this, then you want to point the end of your bottom lash line towards that line. And where they meet, this is the shape of the eyeliner we want to go. So we want to lift the eye towards the invisible line that um, continues the eyebrow. I really hope that I make sense. So with my eye open, I'm going to look at the mirror and I'm going to see it and just draw, like continue this line towards the invisible line of the eyebrow like this. So this is the line. Now what you're going to be noticing if your eye is droopy like mine is that when your eye is open it looks perfectly fine like the um, perfect shape of eyeliner but when you're going to close your eye it's going to look like it's going straight up, almost straight up, like too much up. Now this is why it's important to draw this line while your eye is open because when your eye is open it's going to look different than when it's closed if your eyes are droopy. This is also an indication because when your eye is closed it looks like it's going too far up. So if I would draw a line when my eye is closed I wouldn't go this far up. I would just draw something about here but when, when, you, when I open my eye you can see it just goes straight across and it's not cute. I mean if you do like this type of line then of course do it, but for me, if I would close my eye and just continue the line like this, like an eyeliner, then when I would open it, it would go down and it would look weird and would make my eyes look even more droopy at the outer corner. So this is why it's important to do it when your eyes open. So then the next step is that you want to apply your eyeliner only from the center of the upper lash line out. You don't want to take it all the way in to the inner corner unless you're doing a very very thin line really close to the lash line. I sometimes do it but mostly I like to apply it from the center out right here like this. Why? Because if your sh the shape of your eyebrow um, of your eye is droopy then it goes pretty good from the inner corner to the center and then it goes down. So what we want to do is to lift the eye from the center outwards so it will go up like this. So the inner corner is totally fine that is downwards and then this needs to go up. So we want to, to draw the eyeliner and darken this whole entire area right here where we would have our um, eyeball if we wouldn't have droopy eyes. So if I would draw the line from the inner corner up then you would see a little bit of my eyelid right here, a little bit of my eyelid right here and then in the center it would just block everything right here and it would just look kind of like a triangle and kind of weird. So we want to do it from the center. So the next step is to draw a little tiny line from the center of your eyelid really close to the lash line like this, right where your pupil is in front of the mirror. So you can see I draw a little bit right in the center just across the upper lash line from the center and now you want to connect this line that's in the center with the end of your invisible line right here and you want to go straight across so you go from here right across to the outer corner of the eye like this and then you want to just fill in this gap so now when you filled in the gap it's time to perfect the line so you want to just look in the mirror eye it and add some more liner where you find it that you need it maybe go a little bit more inwards maybe thicken the line if you want it a little bit thicker make it straight in places where you see it's not straight and just perfect it and now it's time to make your eyeliner longer, thicker, whatever you want so you can always just continue the line and make that wing a little bit longer, more dramatic if you want to. You can also make it a little bit more thick and straight right here on the outer corner. 
you can leave it like that, whatever you want to. And that's it. Now when your eyes open, you can actually see this shape. It looks like a great eyeliner. You can still see the lid and if you notice, right now it looks like a half moon. So it looks straight across and then you have the liner. So it looks perfectly well made and then the shape of your eye looks a little bit more lifted. Now when you look from a distance, from far, it doesn't look like it goes down. It just looks like the line continues the shape of your eye and just lifts it up, lifts it up a little bit. And then another little trick to do to make your eyes look a little bit more lifted is to take a lighter color eyeshadow and with a flat brush just apply it right underneath your eyeliner on the outer corner to eliminate the shadow that goes down here because of the shape of your eye. So usually when you have um, droopy eyes, you will have a little shadow right here because, because of your eye shape. So you want to take a lighter color of eyeshadow or a concealer or your foundation or anything like that and just apply it right underneath here. So it will just brighten up this area, make it look a little bit more lifted and eliminate any shadow. So that's it for this video guys, I really hope you enjoyed it and that you find it helpful. The products that I mentioned and used in this video are going to be linked down below this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and to give this video a thumbs up on the way out. Please let me know what videos you would like to see. I'm brainstorming right now. I'm kind of out of ideas. I know and I see that you guys like the most my videos where I teach and explain things. And so um, use it. Use my professional artist skills. Just ask me anything. Let me know what you would like to see, what you would like to learn what you would like me to teach you, um, hair, makeup, anything like that. I read all the comments and I really, really appreciate them. Also make sure to follow me on all the social media um, websites. All of the links are going to be linked down below in the description bar of this video. And I'm going to talk to you all on Tuesday. Bye.